Welcome to our service for Good Friday. This year, not being able to gather together, we will follow the traditional Stations of the Cross as can be found in the Prayer Book of St. Augustine. The Stations of the Cross typically are done in one church location at different points around the parish. The prayer involves moving from station to station, reflecting on the traditional stories of our Lord's Passion. At each station, we hear a reading of Scripture, offer our prayers, and move to the next point in the story. This year, with social distancing, it's so much more difficult to gather and to move together. At each, sta- at each parish, we'll hear one of the stations, reflect on those prayers, and in this way, gather ourselves together and unite ourselves and our stories with the great story of our Lord's Passion. O merciful Savior, Grant that while we follow your blessed footsteps along the way of sorrow, our hearts may be so touched with true contrition that you may turn our weeping into gladness by giving us forgiveness of all our sins. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that as we seek forgiveness from you, so we may be ready to hear your call to take up our cross and to share in your suffering by acts of service and in patience of life. Amen. Let us never, O Lord, like Judas, betray you, or like Peter, disown you, or like Pilate, condemn you, at the noise and clamor of the mob. Make us fear your judgment only. Amen. Let our prayer and meditation be for our good, Accept it as a token of your repentance for sins and negligence of which we are guilty, particularly as an act of intercession for all in any need, remembering especially. Bring us, who follow the path of your cross, to the joy of your resurrection, and grant that we, who have sought to know you here, may stand before your glorious presence in eternity. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He who bore the holy cross did break the power of sin, death, and the grave. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole and by his bruises we are healed. Tell out among the nations that the Lord has reigned from the tree. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, grant unto us your servants to be made partakers of the grace of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity, 
one God, have mercy upon us. Jesus, who came to seek and save those that were lost, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, eating with sinners and tax collectors, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, demanding that only those without sin can cast stones, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, promising the kingdom to the penitent thief, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, restoring Peter after his denials, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, living to make intercession for us, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, who died and rose again, that we not be condemned, teach us to repent of our sins. Jesus, before whose judgment seat we will stand, teach us to repent of our sins. From all evil, deliver us, O Lord. From all sin, deliver us, O Lord. From dying suddenly and unprepared, deliver us, O Lord. From all presumption on your mercy, deliver us, O Lord. By thy birth among us, deliver us, O Lord. By thy baptism and forty-day fast, deliver us, O Lord. By thy victory over temptation, deliver us, O Lord. By thy teaching and mighty works, deliver us, O Lord. By thy passion, death, and burial, deliver us, O Lord. By thy resurrection and ascension, deliver us, O Lord. In all time of our prosperity and in all time of our tribulation, deliver us, O Lord. In the hour of death and in the day of judgment, deliver us, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord and give us grace that we may come to a true repentance and amendment of life. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That judging ourselves, we may escape thy judgment and refrain from judging others. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That we may bring forth fruit worthy of repentance. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That all bitterness and anger be put away from us. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That we may not be puffed up in pride or weighed down in despair. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That in temptation we may have wisdom and courage to seek the right path. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That we may work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Hear our prayer, O Lord. That in forgiveness, we may find a new life now and a hope for eternity. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, spare us, good Lord. Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, spare us, good Lord. Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus, to the last. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. 
like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that is before its shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. Although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. God not, did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, although you were condemned to suffer and die, all judgment has been placed in your hand. Grant that we may be saved from all false judgments against our neighbor, and at the last may stand before you, forgiven by your great mercy, for the sake of your love. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Station number two, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of my people, he was struck. Let us pray. Grant us patience, O Lord, to follow the road you have taken. Let our confidence not rest in our own understanding, but in your guiding hand. Let our desires not be for our own comfort, but for the joy of your kingdom. For your cross is our hope and our joy, now and unto the day of eternity. Amen. O oh, that blessed one, grief-laden, blessed mother, blessed maiden, mother of the All-Holy One. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh, that silent, ceaseless morning! O oh, those dim eyes never turning from that wondrous suffering sun! The Fourth Station Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is nothing to you, all you who pass by. Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me one who can revive my courage. My eyes are spent with weeping, my stomach churns, my heart is wrong within me, 
My children are desolate, for the enemy has prevailed. Great as the sea is your grief, who shall heal you? Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, whose blessed mother watched your passion and death in deep sorrow, comfort, we pray, all those who must stand helpless while those they love suffer. Hear the cry of all victims of terror and abuse. Give hope and solace to those who are bereaved. Grant that we may use such strength as we have to comfort, support, and protect all those who grieve or are in any need. For your tender mercy's sake, amen. Who on Christ's dear mother gazing, in her troubles so amazing, born of woman, would not weep. Fifth station. The cross is laid on Simon the, of Serene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene the father of Alexander and Rufus. May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Let us pray. O Lord Christ, by whose condemnation we are acquitted, in whose death we have life, and whose cross is our hope, help us mindful of your boundless love. And when we are called, like Simon, to bear the cross, make us to rejoice that we are counted worthy to suffer for your sake, and unite what we offer with your perfect sacrifice through the merits of your eternal redemption. Amen. For his people's sins in anguish, there she saw the victim languish, bleed in torments, bleed and die. The Sixth Station. A woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, and for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them, those who are being tortured, as though you yourself are being tortured. Jesus also suffered outside the city gate in order to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to see your face and to find its imprint in all acts of mercy and compassion, and in all for whom you died. By your Holy Spirit, change us and conform us to your own image, that through our lives your light may shine in this dark world. For the glory of your name. Amen. Saw the Lord's anointed taken saw her child in death forsaken, heard his last expiring cry. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. Let us pray. Lord, we fall again and again. Seek us out and recall us to yourself. In your strength, let us stand, and in our paths, let us walk secure. For your passion and death are our forgiveness, our salvation, and our life. Amen. Jesus, may her deep devotion stir in me the same emotion, fount of love, Redeemer come. Eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breast that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us and unto the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? The elders of the daughters of Zion have thrown dust upon their heads. The young girls of Jerusalem bowed their heads to the ground. Let us pray. Lord, grant us to mourn with those who mourn and to repent of all cruelty and disregard of which we are guilty. In, in danger be our confidence that we may stand and accomplish your loving purposes through Christ our Lord. Amen. That my heart, fresh ardor gaining, and a purer love attaining, may with thee acceptance find. Station 9. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Those who were my enemies without cause have hunted me like a bird. They flung me alive into a pit and hurled stones on me. Water closed over my head. I said, I am lost. I called on your name, O Lord. From the depths of the pit, out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, save us from all false pride, and keep us from despair, that in strength or weakness we may face the difficulties and challenges of our lives seeking to serve you and to accomplish your will. We ask this for the sake of your love. Amen. In the passion of my Maker, be my sinful soul partaker. May I bear with her my part. The Tenth Station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you stood before all the world with no one beside you and nothing to protect you, exposed to ridicule and grievously wounded. Make us strong in the face of suffering, strip from all false pride, and for your sake, who suffered such cruelty, make us abhor all injustice and violence. Amen. Of his passion bear the token, in a spirit bowed and broken, bear his death within my heart. Eleventh Station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. One of the criminals who was hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. They pierce my hands and my feet and have numbered all my bones. Let us pray. Bring us to stand close enough to your cross, O Lord, that we hear your voice, and in your promise of forgiveness and welcome, let us rest our hope for this life and for the life to come. Amen. May his wounds both wound and heal me. He and kindle, cleanse and heal me. Be his cross, my hope, and stay. The Twelfth Station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And about three o'clock Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice, and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Let us pray. By your death, O Lord, we are given life. 
Grant that we may receive this great gift with awe and humility, and let our lives be no longer our own, but yours, now and to the end of eternity. Amen. May he, when the mountains quiver, from that flame which burns forever, shield me on the judgment day. The 13th station, the body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Many women were also there, looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. What can I say for you? To what compare you, O daughter Jerusalem? To what can I liken you, that I may comfort you? O virgin daughter Zion, for the vast of the sea is your ruin. Who can heal you? Zion spreads forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. Let us pray. For the sake of your blessed mother, who was stricken with grief, be comfort and strength. Gracious Lord, to all who are bereaved, be light and hope to the dying. And by your own merits and through the prayers of all the saints, bring us through life's sorrows to the unending joy of your heavenly kingdom. Amen. Jesus, may thy cross defend me and thy loving death befriend me, cherished by the deathless grace. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol. I am counted among those who, who go down to the pit. I am like those who have no help, like those forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave. You have caused friend and neighbor to shun me, and my companions are in darkness. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. Lord Christ, as your body was laid in a tomb, you descended into hell to break its ancient doors and free those held in its grasp. Give to us and all the faithful departed release from sin and the torment of separation from you, for you are mighty to save, now and forever. Amen. When to dust my dust returneth, grant a soul that to thee yearneth, in thy paradise a place. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Almighty and everlasting God, who of your tender love towards humankind has sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the examples of his patience 
and be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the glorious passion of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to the joys of paradise. Amen.